So we're talking now about the lovely Ursa Mini 4.6. This is great, isn't it? That's right. This is this is a lovely sort of filmic camera. So this isn't like a run and gun style camcorder. This is something you, you probably wouldn't use for an event or a, a wedding where you're following the action. And the whole idea of this is to produce beautiful filmic images uh, on scenes you've set up yourself. Things like uh, adverts or, or drama, um, just sort of beautiful shoots really. As standard, the camera comes, it's, it's this basic unit here um, and the handle comes with it on the side. But there are two extra kits we've got on the camera here. We've got the shoulder mount, which consists of a top handle and, and this shoulder pad here, which, which lock onto the bottom of the camera. And we've also got the, the OLED viewfinder from Blackmagic. Um, these two extras really turn it into a full camera system. Um, we've also got a V-Lock battery plate on the back and this Anton Bauer battery. So we'll get a couple of hours life out of this 90 watt hour battery on the back. Really um, handy. It, it is. Uh, a camera like this is designed for or needs this sort of extra power. This is a large sensor camera that's capable of running in over 4K at, at 60 frames a second. So it, it really does need, need the grunt you get from these big long life batteries. So it's got a, a large 30, Super 35 sensor at the front of it and 4.6 in the title of the camera stands for uh, 4.6K resolution. So it's, it's over 4K in terms of resolution. This means we get beautifully high resolution images. You're able to film in RAW uh, on this camera. So as well as shooting ProRes natively, it shoots RAW and you need these CFast cards in order to record it, CFast 2 cards. So um, a 256 gig card will hold about 10 minutes or so of, of uncompressed raw footage straight from the sensor. Now this gives you the best ability to grade it in DaVinci Resolve and you do get a full license of DaVinci Resolve in the box with the camera. So you get a, a dongle you can use on a Mac or PC. So, so you can really get into creative grading at the same time. There are hundreds of free tutorials out there on how to use DaVinci and you really do to get the best out of this camera. Use that combination of software and hardware to get the best possible images out. And as you may know, to get the best out of DaVinci you need one of the the fastest gaming cards out there, so it's a good opportunity to upgrade your PC in order to, uh, to get the best performance with DaVinci. Absolutely. Anyway, so we've got XLR audio, so high quality audio in here, which which also have preamps, uh, so you're able to use uh, batteries, uh, sorry, microphones that need phantom power. This has got an EF mount on it, but the camera can come either with an EF or PL mount, and you can't change, you either get one or the other. If you get the PL mount one, it also has lens power out, so it's got a um, power, so, so you've got servo zooms and things on your PL mount lenses, that's the one to get. Uh, but this is the EF mount, and it's an electronic EF mount, although this is, a, this is a passive lens that doesn't have any electronics. If you've got Canon EF or EFS lenses that with electronic iris, then the only way to control the aperture is to, is to use the, uh, the plus and minus uh, connections here on the, on the buttons on the side of the camera, you can also have an auto iris button which will be triggered from here. So what makes this stand out is this fantastic 4.6 uh, resolution, 4.6K, so over 4K resolution sensor. Amazing. And the sensitivity is better than their, their, their 4K sensor at the moment by, by at least a stop or so, maybe, maybe even two stops. So this is native 800 um, ISO, whereas the, the previous generation ISO, the, the 4K ISO, is a native 400. The ergonomics, once you've got the shoulder mount kit and the viewfinder like this, we can take it off the tripod and get that tremendous freedom you get from a from a shoulder mount camera. So I can get a terribly steady image like this. It will also use the image stabilization systems built into Canon EF lenses. Uh, so, so we can use that. And it's just a lovely piece of kit. The build quality nice is, is, it's on the shoulder. It's, it's actually, as long as your shoulder's cool. taking the weight, it's light for an old school cameraman like me, uh, who's, who's used to much heavier cameras. I think people who are used to plastic bodied cameras might be surprised it's heavy, but once it's balanced on your shoulder, once you have it like that, it's certainly something you can use all day. It's, it's light compared to the alternative yeah, cameras. It's all relative. <laughs> exactly. 
exactly. Um, but it's really the images which you can get out of it. You can create cinema footage uh, on a you know a way under ten thousand pounds budget, which is incredible, really. It really is, and I've seen some of the footage, and it truly is stunning. It's well it? worth looking at the Black Magic website under the ESO four point six pages to to look at that footage. Um, it's startling, really. It's the dynamic range which is so impressive. This fifteen stops of range is is one of the largest ranges in the industry, and, and dynamic range is that difference between the the, the bright, uh, the the, the high-end, the, the whites and the blacks. So you're able to see detail in your sky, so the clouds will be picked out against a bright blue sky. And also details in your shadow, so even underneath a car, inside a car, you see that detail too. And then in the grade, you can choose whether to emphasize the shadows or the highlights. You just have a huge amount of creative control over the images, which you don't get with standard cameras. You can get some really beautiful shots, don't you? Yes. Now, you've been a cameraman for a number of years and worked with lots of different cameras. What's your right. verdict then? I, I love this camera. I think if I, was, if I had decided to produce my own film, if I wanted to make something filmic or make an advert, which I wanted to make a car look beautiful or something, or to get that sort of... You need to be in control with this camera. You need to know what you're doing. You get the best results out of this using it manually. It's not something I'd use for a wedding or an event, but it is something I'd use to make something really beautiful, which I wanted to last, uh, last after I'm gone.